Worlds 2016 has begun. One champion that has caught a lot of attention is Kennen. Kennen has seen a lot of attention over the last week, especially with this big highlight play from Smeb. Every single year, people pick based off what they see at Worlds, and due to Kennen's big popularity and big showing at Worlds, Kennen's play rate has tripled and his ban rate has quadrupled. But why is Kennen so good, and is Kennen really that OP, or is he just overhyped from Worlds? Let's take a look at why he's picked. Initially, Kennen was picked as a counter to Gnar. Kennen outranges Gnar, he out harasses him, he out 1v1s him. Kennen is a very dominant lane bully. One of Gnar's biggest strengths in lane is his range, and Kennen takes that away from him. But is this power able to translate over in solo queue? As we know in solo queue, you're not just gonna see uh, four or five champions. The two biggest counters to Gnar to date are Jace and Irelia, both very popular solo queue picks. But how good is Kennen in solo queue? Kennen is fantastic in solo queue. One of the biggest reasons that Kennen is just so damn strong is because of the item Hextech Protobelt. Hextech Protobelt is just perfect for Kennen. Hextech Protobelt is bought on a lot of AP burst champions such as Rumble, Elise, Evelyn, and Kennen. Unlike some of those other champions, getting a little too close can result in your own death. But with Kennen, the closer you are, the better. Hextech Protobelt is a ridiculously cost-efficient item. If we're judging this item simply based off its stats, it is 95% gold efficient. If you incorporate its active ability, this item should easily cost 2800 gold. Champions who get really cheap first items like Hextech Protobelt can get a power spike before their lane opponents and have a window of opportunity to kill them before their enemy does. In professional play, Kennen is really good because usually you'll have a lot of teamwork, a lot of coordination to follow up on these really great plays. But as we know, in solo queue, it's a lot harder for people to follow up and to coordinate properly with your team. But here's the great thing about Kennen. Even if you go in 1v4, a lot of times you'll still trade at least one for one if you're strong. A lot of times, Kennen's ult basically scares his enemies away from peeling. But here's the real reason why Kennen can be so effective in solo queue. As I said before, in professional play, coordination is a lot easier. In solo queue, the way you counter Kennen, you need to rely on people with displacements and exhausts. The champions that have the most displacements in the game are generally junglers and supports. If you're playing top against a Kennen, a lot of times in team fights, it's not up to you to stop Kennen, it's up to someone else on your team. If that support or jungler doesn't remember to use their ult for Kennen ults, or, or if they just use it for something else, Kennen can just destroy your entire team. You need displacements on your team, such as Gragas, Lee Sin, Alistar, Janna. If these players don't remember to use their crucial displacements for Kennen, it's a lot harder to stop him in a team fight. Some players are so tunneled in into one specific area, they don't even see Kennen coming in. Solo queue is like a San Francisco orgy. It's hot, messy, and sometimes you don't even know who you're getting fucked by. So that's why Kennen is so good.